Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to make a video, and I want to talk to you about something dear to my heart, which is my BMW, my BMW. And for those of you who don't know this, I bought a BMW, BMW 330i, it's a G20, G20, and I bought it in February early February 2022. So now it is the 14th of April, April. And I got to tell you something guys, I got to tell you something, got to tell you something. I've enjoyed the car for over 12 months and I'm actually thinking of getting rid of it in the not too distant future. See, I really love my BMW. I love the BMW. It's a beautiful color, Portofino, Portimao blue. 330i, it's, I, man, when I was, when I took delivery of my 318i years ago, my E30, I could only dream of having a 325i. Now I've got a 330i and I got to tell you, I'm actually, I'm actually considering getting rid of it. Not because it's a bad car, it's actually been a very nice car, it's been very reliable. Um, I've treated it, treated it very, very well. But, you know what, I just don't seem to get much enjoyment out of it. I've had my own misery, my own misery. I had a terrible burglary, uh, and you know, with the fact that I just turned 50 years old, it's kind of put me into a phase where I love the BMW, but I don't know long term wise whether it's something I really want to keep forever. And I'm kind of contemplating maybe getting out of it in the next financial year. Uh, obviously for tax reasons, um, I got to be a bit careful how I plan this, but it's been a fantastic vehicle. It's been very reliable. I have put 22 and a half thousand kilometers. It's got 22 and a half. It came to me with 4,170 kilometers. Um, which means I have put on there 16,000 kilometers. Uh, it's been a fantastic car. It's about to have its first scheduled service. It's got a service pack on it. And I'm enjoying it. Yes, I love it. It's currently in my garage with a car cover on. Um, but you know, I'm coming to the realization that these things, luxury cars, luxury cars are bloody expensive. They are very expensive. And I mean, it's a lovely car. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But everything is expensive. The tires are 19 inch low profile tires. The battery is a expensive battery. Everything about this car is dear. And whilst I have loved it, I really have enjoyed it. I don't know if I need to continue having such a beautiful car. In fact, I'm thinking about getting rid of the BMW, selling the old Honda Civic, and maybe getting a... Maybe getting a Corolla crossover or a CX-3 or CX-30 Mazda. Um, I'll, I'll see how I feel. But I got to tell you, the, the thing about these cars is they are a wealth hazard. They are very expensive. In fact, what does this BMW cost me to own? And I've done the sheets, the spread. I've done the spreadsheets and the costings. I've done it all. I have done it all and it's 
Unfortunately, it is not what you would call cheap. It's not cheap. The BMW cost me, how much does it cost me for a year to run this bugger? It cost me about, this is Australian dollars, $17,000. Which consists of car payments of 1029 a month, which is 12358 a year. Insurance of about $2,000 a year. Registration, just under $800 in Queensland. Tolls, probably about $120 a year. Petrol. Petrol, petrol, depends how much you drive it. Um, servicing. Now, the servicing. Well, I've got a service pack. Yes, 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 I do have a service pack, but tires are not included. Uh, also, I like to do extra oil and filter changes. So, all up, the car is easily costing me 17500 a year. 17, now I get some tax write off for it. I get some tax write off for it, which is good. However, 17 and a half thousand, you still, okay, you save a bit of tax. I keep a logbook, okay, say 60% business use because I mainly use the Honda Civic for errands and shopping and stuff like that. But when you really look at it, it's bloody expensive, very expensive automobile. And I got to tell you something. That's of now there are some tax incentives there because I can claim a bit for my business. I was hoping the BMW would really help with my YouTube channel, but you know what? It's not expensive enough. It's not prestigious enough. It's not Waz razzle dazzle enough. That's right, guys. It's not special to bring in the punters. It's not like a Ferrari or a Porsche 911 GT3 or a Lamborghini. It's a simple three series. And in some countries, United Kingdom, America, uh, it's just a executive lease. So it really didn't give me the upswing. I was hoping the views, the videos I've made on it didn't really give me much upswing. So I look at my BMW and I think to myself, how do I get, what's the best thing to do? Does it give me pleasure? Yes, it does give me pleasure. I like it. I like to drive the BMW. But it costs me a lot more than the revenue it brings in on the videos. The videos have been kind of passe. Um, I, I, I would have hoped it would have brought in a more of a, a bigger following, but it just didn't seem to do that. And now they've introduced the new model, the G20 LCI. Now mine's the old one. It's not the new one. So, i got to be totally honest with you. I think I might be axing that baby very soon. I might be giving it the chop. I probably don't want to do it in this tax year. I want to do it in next tax year. And I probably want to do it in a year if my income falls a bit. Because... We had the instant tax write-off, and i got to pay some of the write-off back. So, uh, it's a bit of a tricky decision. It is expensive. It's an expensive car. 17500 Aussie dollars a year to have that. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's beautiful. It is lovely. It is amazing. But expensive, expensive. Um, I got to tell you, do I keep it? Do I flip it? Do I sell? Well, I probably, best thing I could do is sell it privately. Instead of trading it back into the dealer, sell it privately on car sales. Sell it to an enthusiast 
and get top. Try and get top whacked. Instead of getting wholesale, hope to get, you know, higher than wholesale. Discounted retail. So, mm, that's my thoughts on the BMW. Guys, tell me what you think. Would you, if you were me, would you keep it? Flip it? What would you do? What would you do? I mean, I've enjoyed it. I suppose after the burglary, I've become numb to enjoyment and pleasure. And I got to be totally honest with you. It might be time to get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. So, um, that might be the best thing. So, tell me what you think. Should I keep the BMW or should I get out of it? Put some comments below and I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.